I discovered something really interesting um, and I thought I would explain it before uh, I demonstrate it so you understand what's what I think is going on here. Um, it has to do with Lenz Law which is uh, the effect of electromagnetic fields on conductive metals uh, including non-magnetic metals and a, a good example of this is uh, this is my uh, rotor here. Um, now these magnets, when they rotate, they're axial magnets. So the magnetic field is not really rotating around because it goes north-south this way. However, this middle magnet here um, is diametrically... Uh, the fields are south and north on the edges as opposed to just in between here. So uh, let me show you what happens with some different materials. This all started when uh, I was thinking of using a non-magnetic material for the core of my uh, bifiler coil here. I was going to mount it like so that I could move the coil up and down to get the best thing. So um, and I didn't want to cause any extra magnetic drag using uh, a steel thing. So I have a very powerful magnet here. You can see the steel is totally at attracted. And you also see that other than the blade, <laughs> whoops, it's a very powerful magnet. There's no attraction because this is aluminum. And there's no attraction, of course, copper in any way. Now watch hap what happens with the motor. Okay, the motor is running. Uh, I also put some little tape on there so you could see the motor running a little better. Pardon me, I'm trying to hold the camera while I'm doing all this. Anyway, um, here's the demonstration. Now Whoops! Well, that was a good demonstration, wasn't it? <laughs> so you would expect the uh, steel object to be attracted to the magnet. That was the point. Um, now I'm going to try using this aluminum object, which had no attraction to the magnet, and watch what happens. Just getting it near the armature I mean, there is a lot of drag there. I mean, it's kind of amazing, really. And I can feel the attraction going on there, too. Now, what actually happens uh, physically is that even though those metals are non-magnetic. An electric field is induced in the object, in this case uh, this aluminum, and because of the rotating magnetic field the object has a an electrical field and that is what is attracting uh, not a non-magnetic material. And that's Lenz's law. This is really a good demonstration of that. And that will also happen the same thing with this copper pipe. Okay, the last part of the demonstration is showing that this doesn't happen on the axially uh, magnetized magnets. No slowing there. There is no effect whatsoever. Either one. But come to this one, the diametrically magnetized one, and you even get it close, and it happens.
So, uh, if you're thinking of building a magnetic motor, uh, you might consider not using uh, aluminum or copper or any uh, conductive metal, but try and stick to plastics or something like that. Um, and you will avoid having lenses law slow down your motor. Anyway, give me your thoughts and uh, comments, uh, and, and I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.